hey, this is Quas from Team Liquid, and this is my basic champion guide to Nautilus in the top lane. So Nautilus is a pretty strong pick in solo queue. He really has no bad matchups. You can blind pick him into pretty much anything and be able to win the lane or just farm evenly. And I think he can be a really strong frontliner. He can also snowball games. So I think he's a pretty strong pick right now. So Nautilus has really strong laning because Riptide has a very low mana cost and really high amounts of damage. So what you want to be doing is pushing up the waves into the enemy and trying to damage him with your E and also just getting the most out of your um, your E damage by just casting it every time since you won't run out of mana thanks to your Dorian's ring start and later on you can set up uh, ganks if you want you can freeze the lane and since you have an enormous amount of cry control abilities you can definitely set up your jungler for uh, an easy kill in the opponent top lane so for team fights you gotta make sure that um, you know you get used to the range on your Q since it actually has a massive range and you can pick off pick Bill off off guard and you can use that to catch someone and then root him with your passive into your ultimate but if you are engaged with the pawn you should use your ultimate to disable whoever is the the most um, vulnerable target of the enemy team if they have say a talon that's having your backline your ultimate is going to be a really valuable tool to lock him down and allow your team to focus him and down and kill him and as far as anything else you should be using your w preemptively in team fights just to take the cooldown on it and maybe be able to cast it again during the team fight but most of the time you can peel back with your ease to slow or you can um, dive into an enemy carry and damage on them it depends on how the team fight is going to play out but i'd say none of those fits about every single every single team uh, composition you can do a lot of work in and fit perfectly so my first tip with Nautilus would be to keep in mind that your W is actually an auto attack reset. So if you want to do the most damage in a trade, you can start with an auto attack, then to W, into your E, and maybe walk away or keep training them down. So since your attacks are going to be really slow, this is a pretty useful tool if you want to get the most damage as possible in a small amount of time. Nautilus is not a high mobility champion. So sometimes going around the map will take a lot longer than other champions. One thing to keep in mind is that your Q has reduced your cooldown by half if you hit on structures or walls. So you can do this as you're walking back the lane and it'll save you a lot of time or a few seconds of your time getting back. If you use Q into structures and you just hook your way back the lane, if you, even if you spend some mana to it, it's pretty efficient. Otherwise, you'll be pretty slow and not have any mobility. So it's something to keep in mind just to use your queue to close the gaps sometimes and get to fights quicker. For runes, I like to go for Magic Pen Marks, Scaling Health Seals, Scaling Cooler Reduction, Glyphs, and Flat AP Quints. The reason is why you want to have a really strong early game, which you'll get from the AP Quints, and also you want to have your Scaling CDR going into late games, so you'll have that 40% CDR cap that will definitely go well with all your cooldowns. For masters, you like to go for a 921-0 setup so that you're pretty tanky and you get the, b the most out of your resistances since you don't get flat resistances from ruins. I think it's a pretty good setup to complement that and also still have some CDR and AP from the offense tree. So for skills, you want to get either W or E level 1, most likely E because it allows you to push the wave a lot faster and you don't really need the mana that much you won't run out of mana early game with a Doran's ring start and what you want to be maxing first is your E definitely it's the strongest ability you have and getting one point in W and Q by level 3 or 4 depending on if you think you're gonna need your Q to set up a gank or not and after that like I said E max first and then second if you're ahead and you're building um, a little bit more offensively you should max Q second so you get more damage off, off of it and if you always want to build tanky and be a huge frontline for your team, then you should max W second. For item builds, you want to get Doran's Ring start, two potions almost every time. And your first pack, you should go back real quick. You can push up a few waves and then go back as soon as you have gold for another Doran's Ring, maybe a ward and a few potions. And your first major item is going to be depending on who you're playing against. If you're landing against an AD champion, I suggest you build towards Frozen Heart. And if you're playing against an AP champion, I would suggest you build either a Cowl or an Abyssal Scepter if you're ahead. 
because that will give you a lot of damage and allow you to win trades pretty easily. After that, you want to get boots. Uh, you don't really have to upgrade it right away, but if you want, you can get Tavi or Merc Dreads, just regular tanky stuff. And afterwards, you just get Metrisys items, maybe Randon's Omen, uh, Thornmail, Warmox, depending on what the team composition uh, you're playing against. But generally, you just want to build tanky and just having some CDR in your build. Make sure to get that 40% CDR mark so that you'll get the, the most out of your base damages. Late game, you can also consider going for a Leandris since a lot of your abilities will proc the special effect on it and plus it's getting a buff on the, on the 5.13 patch. So I think that'll be a pretty good addition to finish off your build into a late game. Thanks for watching this guide. Make sure to check out the rest of my videos here at lawclass.com.